Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing good. This is a special soulmate reading, so let's do this. It's a timeless energy. Take it as it resonates, as always. You know the deal, guys. So let me just pick one card to start and see the general vibe. Okay, we have... I love this judgment card. Fabulous energy. Being, oh my God, I just throw that shit. <laughs> Being at crossroad, obviously. But the judgment card to me as a reader is a lot about when we stop giving a fuck about what other people think about the way we rule our life. So you might have been a little bit anxious in the recent past. We're going to clarify, of course, but... It could mean so many things. You're definitely at crossroads. Things are about to change for you. And seeing an angel, especially as, as general energy, you are protected. If you believe in that shit, if you believe in the divine and angels, you are protected. Yeah, I like that. Let's go. What is up? We're going to look on your soulmate side first. What are they thinking, feeling? Who is that person? And we'll go on your side after. How does Scorpio soulmate feel? Okay. They're taking their... It was in the reverse. I'm sorry. They're taking their sweet old time. I think someone likes you. It could be a secret admirer. It doesn't have to be. Someone likes you. It could be a nerd sign also. Uh, just because I'm seeing this card in the reverse, I'm having a feeling. It doesn't have to, but it could be someone from the past also who you maybe had a fight with. Uh, someone loves you. Definitely. I just feel like they're taking their time to come forward. And we have... <laughs> The Ace of Pentacle and the Queen of Pentacle. Just confirming what I was saying. Could be an earth sign. Definitely could be an earth sign. And taking their sweet old time. Not being in a rush to come in with their love offer. But they do love you. Uh, they are daydreaming about creating a safe space with you. A home. Uh, you can see on the Ace of Pentacle. This little place in the back is like the Garden of Eden. It's the most comfortable place, you know, uh, an earth sign who wants to take care of you and love you and be there for you. But again, slow energy. This is what I'm feeling. Let's see on your side. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse and the Tower. You've been through a lot recently. Definitely you've been through a lot uh, maybe you had some really difficult relationship in the past. Uh, it feels like something just ended. And to be honest, it feels like it was because someone lied to you. It could be vice versa. No one's perfect. Maybe you lied in a situation and it ended. Uh, I do have a feeling that someone lied to you. It's been uncomfortable. It's been difficult. It doesn't have to be like a real lie. But someone wasn't who they showed, you know? They weren't who you thought they were. Let me put it this way. Um, so you're definitely starting a major healing journey. You might be a little bit exhausted. You might be like, I don't even want to think about love. I don't even want to deal with that shit. But someone loves you. And I do feel like it's secret. I don't think they came in already with an offer. Maybe, but this this person is just like, yeah. And see, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. You're slowly getting out of this uncomfortable time. A lot of stress and anxiety in your recent past. Again, I think someone wasn't honest with you. I think intuitively I'm seeing some of you just... Building and creating a story in your heart and in your head about someone. And it ended up being someone completely different. And it hurt. It wasn't easy. It was like a slap in the face. When you realize what kind of person they were. Or maybe, yeah, I don't feel like it was a smooth transition. Like, oh, okay, they're just not for me. No, it, it was intense. So take it as it resonates, but... 
you're slowly getting out of this situation. And again, seeing the Ace of Pentacle here, it's like this other person who likes you in secret, trust me, they are honest. They want to be honest with you. They want to make you feel comfortable. They want you to open up. They want to love you. Yeah, a lot of, this is a lot about being comfortable. When you in your past relationship or in the recent past, it wasn't comfortable. At least in your mind, it wasn't comfortable. A lot of anxiety, stress, and you're like, can I have just a smooth relationship? Can we just have fun and not be stressed all the time? Okay, let's see in the middle. Is Scorpio soulmate gonna make a move? Scorpio soulmate gonna make a move. Yeah. They're gonna make a move, my love. Trust me. I think you're dealing with someone who's really confident, to be honest. This is someone who has experience in, you know, the love area. They've been through a lot. They know who they are and they know what they have to offer in a relationship. It could be another water sign. doesn't have to be. Um, this is someone who is about to step into their power and tell you what you need to hear. But it's going to be sincere. They're going to be coming in with the truth. And it's like, what the things that they're going to say to you, it's something that you need to hear. It's going to make you feel good. Again, bringing you into a comfortable place. You know, doesn't mean that you're going to be stuck at all. Being comfortable, it's like, you're going to, you know, I'm feeling like I can breathe again. Someone who makes you feel like you can be yourself. And you're never asking questions like, do they love me? As much as I love them, am I good enough for them? You're gonna feel, yeah, you're gonna feel good right away. It feels like this new person is gonna be like a gift from the universe. And seeing the debt card, you're gonna be transforming with this person because they are totally different than the kind of people you had in your life before. And the debt card is all about how we face a new beginning. How are you gonna react when this person comes in? Are you gonna be guarded? Are you going to be open to listen to what they have to say? Are you going to be scared that they are like your ex or like other people you had in your life? So the dead card is really important because it, it's, it's like medicine. It wants you to know that this person is nothing like what you had before. So if you were cheating on, lied to in the past, this is not that kind of person. So you really have to be careful on how you react when they come in, to not be too guarded. It's okay to respect your boundaries. Yeah, it's okay to respect your boundaries, but you have to understand that this person is just, they want what's best for you, you know? And I think that when they come in with an offer, it's just gonna open up so many doors for you. It's gonna change the way you see yourself. Literally, I love this person's energy. I love this person. Okay, let's see. We're going to clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is the Orbifold Tarot, one of my favorite deck. Okay, the Page of Cups in the reverse. So, Again, we're not dealing with someone who's immature. We're dealing with someone who knows their word, who knows their shit. Uh, slow energy. They're not in a rush. They want to respect your boundaries. This is someone who is incredibly respectful. That's why I wouldn't be surprised that it's an earth sign. Someone who respect boundaries. But they already have a lot of love for you. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Chariot and the Ten of Wands. They're ready for this brand new beginning with you. Trust me. They're really turned on by you. Uh, they Again, someone who has a lot of freaking self-confidence. This is how you're going to know that it's them. If you're like, who is that secret admirer? Maybe you know, but if you don't, trust me, this person has a lot of self-confidence. It might not be real. They might be faking it, you know, but still what they show off is someone who's really confident. And I like that energy. Fake it till you make it, you know. Okay, 
Ace of Pentacles, let's clarify. The Fool in the reverse. Ready for a brand new beginning. And again, this person is not just uh, jumping into a new relationship just for fun. This person is strategic. They know what they're doing. And they want the real deal. Like I said, I believe that this person has a lot of experience. A lot of in emotional intelligence intelligence sorry you're gonna be having beautiful conversation with them justice cars card confirming what i just said this is venus rule a balanced relationship a lot of love into that situation again this is someone who is different from everyone you loved before they're gonna be they're gonna be different from your usual type definitely different from your usual type Let's clarify the King of Cups. The High Priestess. Love that shit. Again, this person is single, ready to mingle, taking their time. Their intuition is telling them that you're the one. Yeah, the Hermit in the reverse, confirming that they're about to make a move to come out of their shell and let you know how they feel. This is so literal. Sometimes the tarot is so freaking literal, guys. I love it. Once in a while, it's good. It's just like in your face. In your face. This person wants you bad, man. Okay, let's see the tower on your side. Manifestation, yeah. You understand that this thing that happened in your past, this thing that was really difficult in the moment, it brought you freedom. You feel liberated because of that. You understand that it happened for you and not to you. Really important. And again, you're manifesting a brand new beginning in love. And I know we say that a lot, tarot readers. I'm just so fed up of hearing people say, manifesting love, manifesting this and that. It's just that you open your mind to be more positive and you let yourself dream and hope for a better future this is what manifesting is you know it's not someone who's just sitting down and visualizing the future and obsessing over it you know i don't i'm not a fan of this word manifesting but you know what you want you know your worth and you're getting that shit you know you're like hey the things I want that seem kind of crazy, I can get that. I can have someone who loves me as more as much as I love them. I can have a balanced relationship. Um, and I will get it. The Ace of Wands. Listen, this is my favorite card in the tarot. This is a big yes. It's like the universe screaming yes in your face. You're getting that shit. You're getting that shit. Again, so literal. I'm just, I'm kind of shook. This is the beginning of something big in your life. It might start with a friendship. It's not everybody who wants love also. Remember that. If you're not interesting in, interested in having a partner or anything, it could be meeting someone new, like a new friend, uh, reconnecting with a family member. But I do feel like this is about love. But again, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Don't make the story try to fit in your life if it doesn't it's okay to not want love also but definitely someone wants the best for you and let's clarify the nine of swords in the reverse before we pick some angel cards the star card you are healing you are hopeful exactly what i was saying when we say we're manifesting is that we're letting ourselves dreams for we're letting yourself dream for a better future and we know we're going to get that shit. You're not living your life backwards and trying to see like, oh, what's going to happen with my future? You're like, I know what I'm worth. I know something good is waiting for me and I'm willing to be patient. Uh, a lot of patience, you know, a lot of patience on your side. And I just noticed that that card is in the center. This is your energy, Scorpio. The debt card is your energy. And I think that you're just being the best version of yourself. And this person is seeing that. I love it. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with that reading. Okay, let's pick an angel card on their side. Is It is safe 
for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I love this. These cards are so shiny, guys. I never know how to... I'm going to have to get the non-shiny one, but beautiful energy. This person is so ready for a brand new beginning. Again, so literal. I think that they've been through a lot also in the past, like I said, and just like you, and they want to make sure they're perfect before they make they, their move. A lot of healing, and it feels like the healing is going to happen together. You guys are going to totally transform and become this kind of power couple. Yeah, I like that shit. I like that shit. Let me see on your side if we have an angel message. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Listen, you're talking about literal. This is fucking literal. Open your heart, man. Open your heart and see how it feels. Trust that this person is here to tell you the truth. They want you to be comfortable. They really want what's best for you. This is the kind of person that is going to be putting yourself before them. And not in a like clingy, negative way. It's because they really care about you and your happiness is important to them. Again, it feels like it's a secret admirer. Admirer, I don't really know how to say that word, to be honest. Remember, I'm French, so. <laughs> it might be a secret admirer or just someone that see you from afar and they're inspired by you, they, they're turned on by you, and they're like, oh shit, I think we've been through a lot of similar things in the past and this could be a beautiful balance situation. Open your heart, love and let love if it feels in alignment with you. It could be also meeting a brand new friend who's going to completely change your life. And that's okay too, you know. But this is true love, guys. I have a really good feeling about this. Bottom of the deck, worth waiting for. Be patient. Again, this is not something you want to rush because this is the big deal. Okay, Scorpio, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for listening. Make sure to like this video. Uh, the more like I get, the more I'm going to post some soulmate reading. Uh, I want to see if people prefer that. So thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you guys in a couple days for your weekly reading. Okay, bye-bye.